Hello and welcome guys to another EU3 and I'm just quickly going over in the mechanics in EU3 of course well, you have army but you have your manpower I need your manpower to create units it's cost a thousand manpower to create one unit so I need a thousand manpower and I, I can only have a thousand that's good the my stability you can have negative three or um, plus three Plus three is the highest, of course negative three is the lowest. And just give you let's say pluses and minuses and certain things like national revolt risk and all that kind of jazz. Then there's the two cats, that's just the money is just the gold in the game, really. And then you have your prestige. Depends on you bigger your prestige are you more like you are the number one nation in the world so yeah your prestige doesn't really matter when you're really 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 tiny country just really give you something infamy is your warfare for example if I declare war on everybody with no causes barely I will have like a really high infamy and your higher infamy, infamy is your bigger chance of people would warn me and insult me also declare war on me so it's good to keep your infamy low Nice low at least. Legacy, yeah, it's just the number of world marriage you have. That's just give you more. Also decreases a lot of things like the vault disc and infamy limits, the ability cost and all that. So it's kind of like it's not really important to have a high legacy, but if you need a but if you really just need, you know, a little boot with a national vote list, it can be really dandy. <clears throat> well, of course, your let's say your culture is, of course, is Halloween, yeah, and it's the same culture group as this part of Germany. And you can see the supply limits, max attention, growth ton, and enrolled. Revolt wish if there should be any kind of revolt in your country and also the manpower that is available in this, this little your little region here or country and the trading or say the, the trade you have in your country is iron right now if you are Luxembourg. <coughs> and of course then it's important to make sure that you keep trading with all your trade partners. <clears throat> at least you have all of this done. Yes, you need money, of course, when you're a small country. Your taxes is here, tariff and all that. You don't have any taxes in your homeland, so of course you don't have any tariff. Your national focus is where your national focus is. Just give you some good things, your capitals. Just your capital. Then of course you have your King, King, Jacob, first from Luxembourg, our culture, and then Luxembourg is a good old monarchy, it's just the government type and you can just change it when you want to change it. This is the view and your sliders where you can go certain ways. Where's the pad? I don't really want to do that, I don't want to. Hmm. Then you just see what the difference are like land. Of course, I want to go land. I don't have a navy quality and quantity, defense, and offense, and all that. National idea you get into later. I actually can pick a national idea, but of course, yeah. Then you have your let's see, great men of core, where you can choose different like months, stability, spy, efficiency. And then I get another one. You can see it really. Our leader, how good he is, military diplomacy, and administration. Good leader in military, decent leader for a small country, yeah. And then you can see all the. Say how you want to control your money, basically. Of course, if you say put all into treasure, you will get more money, but less research, and you really need the, this research to grow in power. Of course, are you view the true religion, Catholic? Then we'll see. Not 
true living here beliefs orthodox right now and other Eric relief Muslims beliefs is this and I cannot no I cannot no <clears throat> so yeah this is how you look at these beliefs of course if they're Christian you like them more than you like the Orthodox and also the Muslims you really don't like the Muslims and then you can also send delegate to the Pope and blasphemy and all of that but it's also in here where you change if you want to be a pro if you want to be a reform if you want to be another religion of course then you one of your province has to be that religion so kind of hard <clears throat> this is here where you wrote your journal and everyone wrote rule into journal is not really Good. I don't think it's good. As if he dies, you will get a new leader. So I mean, general and then just admiral. Of course, later you can create a conquistador and explore and just cost uh, mercenaries. And generals and admiral cost one diplomat. That's really don't get any sense, but they do. This is more like the culture and also navy and. Army tradition, of course, more culture tradition you have, more great men you can hire yourself. Actually, of course, this is also important to hire certain great men. Mm. This is also here where you can make culture decision, like adjusting tournaments and stuff. They give you a fair amount of culture if you really need it. B, if you really need. A certain great great man in here you can just hire one <clears throat> of course here's your current mission of course you have to do that one mission and I think I'm gonna die but yeah and this is here where you also can do a certain national decision like court of wars and all that I mean they're not really the best mission but yeah this is just a quick video of the mechanics in the game and just a quick overview of the mechanics and hope you like the video and hope you leave a like or leave a comment or do something with it. Yeah. Bye guys.